Hello to all my beautiful people of YouTube. Today what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you Dolly 2, which is an outpainting program that you can use 100% free to turn your normal everyday images into inspiring beautiful pieces of artwork that you can put on any product or that you can turn around and you can sell or put on social media or share it with your family or whatever you may like. So let's get started. First and foremost, before I get started, the name that I have chosen for today is Katie. The name Katie means pure. If you didn't know that or if you found that interesting, if you hit the thumbs up button down below, I'd greatly appreciate it. All right, so now that we're back here on the desktop, basically you wanna go to labs.openai.com and when you create a free account, which I've done up here, all this is 100% free, but Dolly2 will actually give you 50 credits of free credits of images. Now each image that you generate will use credits but what it does is is that every month it will give you 15 free credits or you can actually go and buy credits. I have not purchased any credits but I have used quite a bit since started just to kind of test it out and see the possibilities of Dolly 2. So what you want to do is you can either come in here and create your own prompts which your own prompts um, you can play around with. I will show you some of um, my images that I kind of put in here so this is kind of what I've done if you put your profile picture in here which this would be the original image you can give it prompts and edit that image and it will turn it into other things now these don't look that good although they are original images but they kind of look awful um, in my opinion so here's kind of the best way to that I have found to do this there is Dolly2 and then there's another website called Midjourney and Midjourney is another AI generated um, image prompt and basically what it does is uh, you have to pay for Midjourney and Midjourney is a little expensive but if you have the money you can definitely do that and it's something that we will definitely do in the future. But um, these give you really great images and so what I did was I just kind of found a couple that I kind of liked which um, I kind of want to do this one and this one and you can just go here and you can copy the prompt and then you can paste it into Dolly 2 which is what I did and this is the prompt for the first image that we're going to do. So a starry infinite climbing celestial library spiraling towards light books spirals estuary dark souls bloodborne fan fantastical magical library. So uh, now that we have our prompt what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back in here to Dolly2 and we're just gonna paste this prompt into here and we're gonna see what we get. Now like I said this is an outpainting tutorial so what outpainting is is you take an image and then what Dolly2 does is it will take parts of that image and then it will expand on it so that you can create a new larger image. So we just kind of pick the one that we like, um, and to be honest, uh, let's just go with uh, let's just go with this one. Okay. So now that you have this image, you can choose to download it, and this does take credits if you choose to download it. So we'll just download this one here, and you can see it downloaded down here. All we have to do is go up here and click Edit, and if you edit, this is the out painting. Um, screen here and you have this little paintbrush and this little paintbrush is a certain size and you can either do that or get um, you can click on the add generation frame will take whichever part of the image that you put in the square right here and it will expand upon it and it's actually supposed to match the current image and you can blend more than one image together so we're gonna take this here and say I put this image or this box right here and what it should do is once you click here what Dolly2 wants you to do is it wants you to put the same prompt back in here but I found that if you put the same prompt back in it's gonna try to make multiple images of this but we're just gonna click this and see what happens so and it creates a whole nother image which is actually really cool um, so from here say I wanted to take two different images and you can uh, that's not the only one that you can pick so down here at the bottom you have these little arrow keys and the arrow keys you can just click and you can choose whichever image that you want Dolly2 to, to create but that one's actually pretty cool we'll actually go ahead with this one 
and then we're gonna expand upwards and just kind of see what happens and the smaller you put it in there the more room that you have to generate images above it so let's just do this and we'll just hit generate yeah let's just go with that one okay so you want to go with that one and click accept so say that i wanted to add another image i'm gonna mid journey and i'm gonna clear this so let's just copy this and then go to Dolly 2 and paste this. And it should give me a different image than the first one that we chose. This one. So if I take this and I download this, I'm just going to put it in the same place. We select this. Say I wanted to put it over here. Like the pan button so that we can move it. Let's do the middle of this and see what happens. The reason that we choose other prompts is because you get wonderful images like this. I tried to personally create my own images, and uh, I guess I'm not as creative as some of these other people, so uh, they did not come out as well as these do here. See? That's cool. And it kind of blends the image together in no time, and you can choose which one you prefer kind of like that one it looks more mm, yeah that one looks like it kind of blended together better so we'll do this and so from here what I want to do is I want to expand upwards so if I wanted to expand this upwards I would just kind of put it in here there we go yeah, definitely gonna go with this one. Cool, so now that you have uh, these images created, like I said, they ooh, they do take credits. Um, so if you click up here, I have 26 credits left and I had 32 when we started this, so it, it does take quite a bit, but uh, I just kinda wanted you guys to see what all the um, potential is with Dolly. And you can go over here to Mid Journey if you wanted to find um, examples. These are all really cool, and these aren't the images where you create AI of yourself. Like if you wanted to create characters and um, turn your face into profile pictures or uh, different animations from different shows and, and that kind of thing, you can definitely do that, um, but it costs money. That's an app called Lenza, and we will definitely uh, do a video on Lenza here shortly. But um, I just kind of wanted you guys to see what all the potential is uh, with Dolly 2 and stuff that you can kind of play with and create. That one's kind of funny. That was really cool that I kind of want to download. Um, and I mean, the, the possibilities are endless with this thing. So if you have a business and you're tired of your images looking dull and uh, plain and you wanted something to kind of spice it up or if you have products that you sell, you can uh, make AI images of products and, and put them online. Uh, it's, it's actually... Um, kind of limitless the the possibilities here so after playing around with this for a minute i kind of wanted to show you guys uh the final product that we have um so i kind of put a bio lum luminescent uh pool down here at the bottom and it goes up into like this crazy spiraling magical library uh with with fish and all that so i don't know um yeah i definitely encourage you guys to go and play with this considering that it's free and um, I'd like to see what you guys created. So uh, if you want, you can comment down below and um, send me a link to whatever you guys created. And I'd love to see them. So as soon as I got done making this video, um, after doing a little bit of research, I found that Mid Journey actually has a free way that you can not only create images, uh, AI generated images, but AI generated websites. And um, actually a lot of cool stuff that you can do with Mid Journey. So, it's definitely going to be a part two of this video, but I just wanted to update you before I put this video out, and uh, stay tuned for that. So.